Hello, my name is Mrs Waters and I'm here to talk to you about choosing A-level psychology at King's Head Academy of one of your subjects in sixth form here. Um, we recognise that for most of you, you won't have studied psychology before, so we thought it might be useful to start with telling you what psychology actually is. So it's a science of human behaviour and human experience. So in effect, it's the science of us um, and we use research, experiments and evidence to help us describe and explain human behaviour. And the idea is that if we can describe and explain human behaviour, then we can predict the ways in which people are going to behave and therefore hopefully change people's behaviour for the better to improve their everyday lives. As an A-level, psychology is a full two-year course um, and you're assessed at the end of year 13 in three two-hour final exam papers. Just to give you a really quick rundown of the 11 topics that we study across the two years. So we look at social influence, which is about obedience and conformity. We look at memories and the different types of memory that we have and um, theories and models of memory. And we apply that to eyewitness testimony in real life. In attachment, we look at the bond that's made between a very young child and their primary caregiver the consequences of that for them later in life and their later relationships. In psychopathology, this is about abnormal behaviour and we look at three um, different abnormal behaviours, so obsessive compulsive behaviour, depression and um, phobias. Approaches in psychology, we look at, these are kind of the key explanations in psychology that run through all the topics that we do. So for example, Freud's psychodynamic explanation, cognitive explanation, biological explanations. So we look at a range of those. Biopsychology is very focused on biological explanations for human behavior, particularly genetics, evolution, and the role of the brain. Research methods is something that goes throughout all of the topics that we look at. It's actually um, a double section in the second paper in your final exams. There are mathematical elements to it. Um, you need to be able to interpret tables and graphs and so on. And it's also got about the ethics of the research methods that we use as psychologists. Issues and debates, we look at things like gender bias and culture bias. Um, and how that impacts on our research. Eating behaviour, we look at food preferences um, and anorexia and obesity. In relationships, we look at romantic relationships, virtual relationships, so relationships online, and those very odd relationships we have with celebrities who we're never even going to meet. And forensic psychology is about psychology and crime. So why do people commit crime? Um, and what psychological basis do we have for the punishments very well. Um, a quick idea of what happens in lessons. So these are pigeons playing ping pong. So it's just an example of some um, animal studies that we look at. In eating behaviour, we have a foodie five minutes where we each take it in turns to bring in a food or drink item to share and do a micro teach based on that. And this really cute little puppy is another example of an animal study we look at where they investigated how willing research participants would be to obey and electrocute a puppy potentially to death. Um, in virtual relationships, uh, we look at relationships on online games, um, online dating. Uh, so we look at a range of things. This is a metronome. So in one of our lessons, we recreate the very first ever recorded scientific psychological experiment from the late 1800s. In uh, psychopathology, we look at phobias and there's a very successful therapy called systematic desensitization. Uh, we have a go at that in class. Uh, Greta Thunberg, we look at the um, really powerful influence of minorities and how they change our society. So Greta Thunberg is a very good example of that. And again, going back to eating behaviour, we look at the role of the media and toys like Barbie and the impact they have, particularly on children um, and their food preferences and eating behaviour. So we look at a really wide range of things in lessons. Uh, what you can use A-level psychology for, so I'm starting with UCAS simply because 
about half of our students choose to go to university and that's why they're doing A-levels. So there are over 1,700 different psychology degree courses here in the UK. And you can do psychology where you specialise in a particular um, subject or area of interest for you. So it could be sports psychology, forensic psychology, educational psychology, child psychology. Um, if you're going to any of the uniformed services, so the police or any of the armed services, psychology is really helpful because you're always working with other people. It can really help you with that. Same with travel and tourism. You're working with people who are wanting to enjoy themselves, but they might be in an unusual culture. They're very often interacting with people for the first time. If you're thinking of going into a medical career at all, so doctors, nurses, dentistry, then again, you're working with people sometimes in very difficult situations. So psychology is really useful for that. Bless you if you're thinking of coming into teaching. Um, but obviously, as teachers, we're dealing with groups of people, particularly young people on a daily basis. We're constantly working with colleagues as members of teams and also working with people on a one to one basis when they need that level of support. And even if you're maybe you're thinking of becoming a hermit somewhere, um, then you a lot of what we learn, we find that we apply it to ourselves. Uh, we look at our family and friends in a slightly different way. Um, and also just people watching on the street and how people behave makes psychology really interesting. So it's been a really, really quick tour of A-level psychology. If you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me by email um, and I will get back to you. All right. Thank you very much for listening.